Um, now, the Ayrshire-born actor and comedian John Sessions has died. He was 67. He was best known as a panellist on the 90s and 80s, uh, 90s, 80s and 80s, 90s improvisation TV show Whose Line Is It Anyway? He appeared on QI and Have I Got News For You. His other credits included Stella Street and Spitting Image. Films like Kenneth Banner's Henry V, fellow comedian Ronnie Arcona, described him as a genius, uh, while Helen Lederer remembered him as such an original force of clever wit and talent. Here he is impersonating the late Alan Rickman on QI. Sort of a high-octane <laughs> version of the English villain, which is to get an English villain to play a German villain. Yes. Yes, which is in the Die Hard franchise. As in the Die Hard film, which is almost has some of my favourite dialogue of our great friend Alan Rickman. Uh, when he says, after, the, after he shot the band, he says, Mr. Kage, I will count to three. There will not be a four. <laughs> and he still <laughs> says, and, so, and then he goes down and says later, and he, and he goes, Mr. Takagi won't be joining us for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk to Kay Hutchison, uh, the co-author of The Adventures of Captain Bobo. Hello, Kay. Hello there. Thank yes, you so much. And, and John Sessions narrated the book and that was his last completed work, is that right? Indeed, we've just uh, completed the series of radio plays and it was based on the children's books. He loved mm. the adventures of Captain Bobo and he just did a fantastic job. We were we were absolutely blown away with his character voices and just sheer sort of talent. It just sounded so easy to him and he brought it all to life in a lovely way. Tell me about the man, as I understand it, you were due to record a podcast. Tomorrow, Tomorrow. we were all set up... Um, to record a podcast um, about his life and about his work, including a little bit about the adventures of Captain Bobo and what he thought about it and really kind of linking into his childhood and his love of the Clyde. He was born, as you say, he was born in Largs, mm. but he loved the ships and he loved the people and his accents in the show are just amazing it's just it was it just seemed to come so easily to him but I was looking forward to that and unfortunately obviously I, I mean I, I didn't know I, I sort of thought oh that's funny he hasn't come back to me on email as quickly as he usually does and then I heard the dreadful news so it, it's a terrible loss um as a talent but also he's an absolutely lovely man to work well, with well do you know that's the thing that's come across and you and I chatted earlier on just to you know, trying to get you on the mm -hmm. program, and a, a lot. Some people who are famous become famous, and all the wrong, all the wrong things happen. <laughs> they're, they're they're unpleasant. But you were saying, and everyone I've spoken to about this man said he was a lovely man. I mean, I mean, the very first phone call. I mean, he was uh, sort of calling me dear and darling. And, oh, it's so lovely to talk to. I love these Captain Bobos. And he, he sort of said, I wish I wish life was a bit more like Captain Bobo. And he he was it was just like speaking to a friend that I'd known for, for years. But I think it made a difference that he, he just was very down to earth. And although, you know, he's obviously an amazing talent, all of the, some of the projects he did were, uh, as you say, he was incredibly smart and, and clever-witted. But actually, to talk to him on the phone and work with him, he just did absolutely everything he did he, uh, to, to support the programme. He said to me, look, I'll do anything publicity. I, you know, he would write me emails, you know, if there's anything I can do more to publicise the show. And you don't always get that. He was, I think it's partly because he really loved it, but I think it was also who he was. He really thought that once you've actually done a project, you should really support it and do everything you can. And he couldn't have been more helpful. And the link with Bill Patterson, and I think you wanted yes. Bill Patterson to, to, do the, to, to narrate this, but he said, no, I know somebody better. Well, um, uh, Bill was actually voicing one of our other books and uh, he knew that we were, uh, it was related to, the Hurricane Hutch book was the book that he narrated and he knew it was related. That yeah. was an adult book, well, adult book, um, and the, to, to my, who, which was about my father. But he also knew that we had a children's book series based on some of the funny stories that had happened in my father's life. And we had said to, you met sort of hoped that he would maybe be interested in that too, although it's a very different style. And he said, you, you know, you know, this is really one for John Session. He's absolutely fantastic. I think he actually phoned John up and said, John, this is a perfect one for you. 
And before we we were just sort of so happy um, that not only were we getting the advice of, of Bill, and but, but Bill actually got us John because clearly when we heard his rendition of the first book with all the different accents, all the different, you know, the sort of sense of fun that he brings to it is just mm. amazing. And, and there's still some some of the programmes, the last three in the series of 10, are still just being finalised just now. So, um, but, you know, his energy and sense of fun continues right through it. It's brilliant. Okay, lovely to talk to you, lovely. Thank you for painting a beautiful picture of what was a lovely man. Kate Hutchison, uh, co-author of The Adventures of Captain Bobo, the, the last work John Sessions did. It last completed work, three episodes still to be aired. Um, great talent.